You heard it. You better move, you better dance. Yeah, pick your colors, pick your side, either burnt orange or crimson, or just, just come on, Evan. Stay neutral. He, he, he's already relieved himself of the duty to stay neutral. Now, well, seeing you get too close and doesn't even look orange anymore. It's time for the Red River Showdown. Dan is live at the Cotton Bowl at Fair Park. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning, Jenny. Uh, right now, Oklahoma is ranked 11th in the nation. Texas is out of the top 25, but this rivalry is so intense. The emotions running so high. It's very difficult to predict what's going to happen on the field tomorrow. We do know that Oklahoma will be looking to avenge last year's loss to the Longhorns. The Sooners came into that game, the nation's number 12 team. Texas was unranked, yet the Longhorns managed to pull off the upset win 36 to 20. This season, Oklahoma was undefeated until they came down to Fort Worth last Saturday. The Horn Frogs of TCU showed the whole country how good they are, defeating the Sooners 37 to 33. TCU taking a big jump in the national rankings after that win. The Longhorns have had their struggles this season under new head coach Charlie Strong. Like Oklahoma, Texas is coming off a loss last Saturday, falling to the undefeated fifth-ranked Baylor Bears 28-7 in Austin. Now, kickoff for tomorrow's game set for 11 a.m. It's expected to be a sellout, the 69th in a row for Texas-Oklahoma here at the Cotton Bowl. The uh, atmosphere here in and around the stadium, something that can't be duplicated at any other sporting event happening as it does in the midst of the biggest state fair in the United States. Now, one very good option for getting here to the fairgrounds tomorrow, take Dart Light Rail. The trains start running four hours before game time, and those trains start to fill up two hours before kickoff. Again, that happens at 11 a.m. Reporting live at the Cotton Bowl, Dan Godwin on Good Day.